Welcome back everybody, are you ready for another dose of stabbing in my Assassin's Creed Revelations channel? Well, here we go! Ok, so this time we're featuring the Imperial map from DLC 2, and as most of you may know, there was a boycott against DLC 2 so that people wouldn't buy it until Ubisoft fixes the bugs and glitches in the game, but well, I wasn't really a part of it. I had my mind long said that I wanted to play on Sienna, after all Sienna was my favorite map back in the ACB days, so well, I don't know what to say, What? I just couldn't control myself. Ok so the game starts and I see that the brigand is my target, I'm closing in the distance because she's incredibly far away and at the same time trying to keep an eye out for whispers, maybe my pursuer is close but I don't hear anything so I'm just playing a bit here trying to see what happens and I see the Corsair over there so I'm just trying to see if I get a chance to stun her at the same time I see that my target is on the roof above her so my target is probably hunting down my pursuer which is good for me of course I try a little trap here to see if she jumps, which she does, and punch to the belly, stay down you corsair, it suits you. <laughs> in the meantime I see that my target is over here, she is twitching in the blend, she's like adjusting her, her position, so I suppose that she's the one in the middle right now, and I keep walking, it's likely that I have been spotted already, but I just keep it quiet to the, to the last second. And it's worth it because I managed to get my acrobatic focus there, so I can take the lead right away. And I stay quiet here. I got two pursuers. I see the trickster over there, who's my target. <laughs> She's stunning the sentinel, I don't know for what reason. There's also the Corsair over here. Oh, what was that? Smoke out of the nowhere. And I see the Sentinel rushing for alert. Wow, at least if you're going to offensive smoke someone, take the time to know who you're going to kill. Don't go in and kill someone at random. I often smoke the, the trickster here, trying to get the hidden and the focus at the same time. I also managed to get my streak and I see a bit of bad news there because I see the sentinel uh, as, my as my pursuer but I managed to stun him without problems I, I have not a clue why he didn't kill me and wow it seems like I'm in, in a lock streak because I get the corsair here as my target she's stunned so I managed to get a grounded silent on her and that was all very fast wasn't it <laughs> okay I, I hear whispers but wow, <laughs> not for long because my pursuer is killed, whoever it was. So I can wander around, run freely. Well, I got one pursuer. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Wow, people are really rushing into me this day. That's just. Ah, oh, wow, I just can't help it. No matter what I do, they just keep running at me. I see my target over there, and nice um, this little girl over here. Who just happened to walk by my side. I had to offensive smoke the sentinel here because he knew that I was his pursuer after he saw me stun the trickster. And now that there, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a term that I have mentioned like quite a few times in this game, and that little little term is offensive smoke bomb. Okay, so let's talk a bit about that offensive smoke bomb. There's a lot of people who say it's cheating, people who say it's very cheap and as you can see I got offensive smoked here again <laughs> and also poisoned I am guessing but what I wanted to say is that offensive smoke is just like uh, well at least for me I'm just saying my opinion I don't know what you guys think but for me it's just another technique in the game I mean if someone offensive smokes me, well, okay, it's not like I can do much about it. I know I'm done. Unless I spotted the guy like from a mile away, which is what I usually do, then there's little to no chance that I would do anything when someone offensive smokes me. But I won't just sit there and start crying or anything like, oh, I got offensive smoke, I'm gonna lose because of that. Or I'm going to leave the game, I'm going to do a rage quit. 
No. Well, that's not how I think. What I think is that if I know that someone is offensively smoking me, just as the Corsair is about to do to me right now, <laughs> and poison me again <laughs> for the second time in the game, if I can anticipate that someone is going to offensively smoke me, then I try to be on my guard and do whatever I can in, in order to avoid the smoke and make them waste their ability. But it's just like, don't just sit there and start complaining, you know? You, you gotta do your best to win. Oh, wow! <laughs> I don't know if you were looking at the game, but the Sentinel just spawned right by my side and he was my pursuer and I stunned him. <laughs> just incredible things that happen in ACR. Okay, so back on the topic, what I, the last thing that I want to say actually about offensive smoke is that, well, it's a tool, you know? It's not like you have to go every kill and use offensive smoke to get it because most of the time it's not really worth it. I mean, it's sometimes it's worth it because, for example, if you can manage to get hidden and focused, then I think it's good. But if you you just go there uh, thinking that you have to smoke everyone then that's not really a reason to use it you, you get to use it sparingly I, I will say but it's not like there's a taboo against it it's not like you have to prohibit it doing it and actually if you play with a lot of high level players then you're gonna have a really hard time trying to win if you do not offensive smoke because usually the high level players they are they like run a lot and it's really hard to catch well and that's about it for Randy the about offensive smoke here I stun the, the sentinel and he calls me a faggot did, did, did you hear that I mean I just said it because he said it because I didn't even want to say that word but I stun him and he calls me that I mean What's his problem, man? What do you think you're playing? This is revelations. If you don't want to be stunned, then don't play. And th th that's the kind of thing that I find people doing a lot. I mean, just because the other guy mutes you and stuns you or kills you in a way that you don't like, then you start saying that the guy is a bad player. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, these people have little to no control at all. I just don't know how to understand them. Here, for example, I just stunned this guy, he's the one who called me, uh, well, you know the word, and he kills me, he, he got me a sign right after I stunned him, and, well, I didn't really say a word, well, at least not here in the commentary, <laughs> but who knows what I, what I said back in, in the game. Here I, I managed uh, to get a nice hidden kill and a focus on the grounded Corsair, <laughs> who has no luck at all because I, I have killed her twice already grounded um, I have one pursuer, I don't have whispers I'm trying to see if I locate my pursuer but I don't see anyone who's suspicious yet I see that my target is over here once again it's the queen of hearts I see the opportunity to get a grab kill and she goes down Still trying to see who is my pursuer, the brigand here taunting me, don't know why, or maybe she was taunting the, the trickster who died. And I see the Corsair here making a futile Captain Obvious attempt trying to kill me, which of course doesn't work. And here is the Sentinel who obviously knows I'm after him, so he starts running. Run Forrest, run, because the trickster is also after you. Run! <laughs> Run so she doesn't kill you! Oh, well, or maybe not. I'm just gonna get my little ground finish here, which also happens to give me my extreme variety for 600 more. And I see the brigand here, but I'm a bit slow on, on my mute timing, so I died like a noob. <laughs> like a complete noob. I pressed the the select to see the scores there and I saw that I had 9700 9, so I'm trying to make a big effort One here trying to, to get the 10k to finish the game with a bang I hear whispers and trying to locate my pursuers but they don't seem like they want to be stunned so they just rush in for 150 and I'm just thinking at this point oh my god please 
please, no matter what happens, I want 10k. I want 10k, please, let me get 10k. But will they allow me to get 10k? Well, that's another thing entirely. Because I don't think they will be friendly in that aspect. I thought that was my brochure, but it wasn't. And, whoa, wasn't that my target who just passed right by my side? Okay, that was my pursuer. And I have 14 seconds to capitalize the, the 10k? Uh, wow! And at the very last, well, 10 seconds, not last second, but last 10 seconds, I managed to get my 10k. Yes! Finally, thank you, thank you, Trickster, for letting me get the 10k. And as you can see from the scoreboard, I got take 10k 50, 9 kills, 5 deaths, and yes, just one of the most glorious games I have ever had. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this game, if you like, click the like button, and thanks for watching.